In this video, we're going to look at the concept of collision in physics. All right. So collision is something we see in everyday life. All right. So when two bodies hit together, collision automatically occurred. All right. So that's collision whenever two bodies hit together. Okay. So basically, there are two types of collision in physics. We have the perfectly elastic collision and perfectly inelastic collision. All right. Now, perfect, perfectly elastic collision, the type of collision with both kinetic energy and momentum are conserved and it can be calculated using m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals m1 v1 plus m2 v2 whereas perfectly inelastic collision is a type of collision in which only momentum is conserved kinetic energy is not conserving perfectly inelastic collision right and for perfectly inelastic collision it can be calculated using in physics using this formula m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals equals sorry v in bracket m1 plus m2 right so this is the formula you use to calculate perfectly inelastic collision this one is for Perfectly elastic collision. All right, so let's look at some problems on collision calculations in it and apply this formula to them to get whatever we're asked to find. All right, note that most of your physics questions or most questions for collision usually come from perfectly inelastic collision. All right, so take note of that. Now let's get some problems, problems and solve. Let's write this. Okay, let's look at this question. It says, a blot of mass 0.01 kg moves horizontally with a speed of 400 meters per second and embeds itself in a block of mass 0.39 kg that is initially at rest on a friction less table. Find the final velocity of the bullet and block. So let's get our parameters so that we know the right formula to apply for this problem. Okay, in this question, we have our M1 to be 0.01 kg. Alright, so we have our you want to be okay 400 meter per second we have our m2 to be 0 0.39 kg we have our u2 to be right okay when m2 is 0 0.39 kg the velocity is at rest all right initially at rest that means to be zero okay so we are looking for v now v that means we're going to use this is this question is under perfectly inelastic collision. So we're going to apply m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals v in bracket m1 plus m2. So we are looking for the velocity of impacts, right? The final velocity v. So when you substitute these values, you're going to have remember this u is your initial velocity. We have two initial velocities for this question and two masses. Alright, no, now let's input the value. I'm going to have our m1 is we're going to have 0 0.01 times u1 is 400, right? Plus m2 is 0 0.39 times 0, right? Because v in brackets, we have 0 0.01, right? Plus 0 0.39. So we're going to provide this. You're going to have so let me point this to my calculator 0 0.01 times 400 will give us 4. All right, everything here 0 0.39 times 0 still give you 0. So we left 4 at the left side of the equation equals V in bracket. So let me punch what is in that in that bracket. Okay, so when you add what is inside the bracket, then you have 0 0.4. So to make V the solid formula, you divide both sides by 0 0.4. This will cancel this. Therefore, our v will be zero, 4 divided by 0 0.4. It will give us 10. So we're going to have the final velocity to be 10 meter per second. So that will be the final velocity. Now let's wipe this and solve another problem. Okay, let's call this question. It says a revolver of mass. This kg releases a bullet of mass 0.05 kg at a speed of 200 meter per second. What is what is the revolver speed of recoil? All right. 
So let's get the parameters. Our U1 will be 0. Our M1 will be 6 kg. Our U2 will be 200 meter per second. Our M2 will be 0 0.05 kg. Right? Why our U1 is there? Because when the revolver is released from the when the bullet is released from the revolver rather the bullet initially we have a velocity of zero a velocity of zero before it starts moving at this velocity of 200 meter per second all right so don't be confused with it so initial velocity velocity will be zero okay so and we are looking for we ask what is the revolver speed of recoil all right so we're looking for final velocity which is unknown that the velocity is used to return recoil right so i'm going to apply this is perfectly perfectly in elastic collision when i apply m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals v in bracket m1 plus m2 so many of the two we're going to have our m1 is 690 plus so m2 is 0 0.05 times u2 is 200 right equals v in brackets so we have 6 plus right 0 0.05 all in brackets okay so i simplified it everything i give is zero so let me multiply 0 0.05 by 200 okay so we're going to have 10 equals v in brackets so 6 plus 0 0.05 give us 6.05 so they make be the square formula by both side by 6.05 6.05 if we cancel this so therefore 10 divided by 6.05 let me punch it all right so our final velocity will be 1.65 if you are leaving it in two decimal places meter per second all right so this will be the the speed of recoil the final velocity so let's wipe and solve one more example and after you can call it a class Okay, so let's look at this typical question. It says a rifle fires a bullet of mass 0.01 kg with a velocity of 300 meter per second. Find the recoil velocity if the mass of the rifle is 6 kg. All right, let's get our parameters. In this case, we have our, our M1 to be 0.01 kg. We have our U1 to be 300 meter per second. And we have our M2 to be 6 kg. Our U2 will be 0, alright, because the waveform is not moving, alright. So, we are asked to find the recoil velocity, V. Alright, that means we still apply, this question is under perfectly inelastic collision. Like I told you, most of the questions we see in collision will come from perfectly inelastic collision. Alright, so we are going to, final velocity is unknown. So, we are going to apply M1, U1 plus M2 u2 equals v in bracket m1 plus m2 so let's substitute the value we're going to have m1 is 0 0.01 right times 300 plus our m2 is 6 times 0 equals v in bracket 6 plus 0 0.01 so when simplify this 0, 0 0.0 times 200 will give us we're going to have 3 so 6 times 0 is 0 everything is we, we only have 3 at the left side of the equation equals so when you simplify this v in bracket 6 plus 0 0.01 give us 6.01. Alright, so to make v the solid formula, divide both sides by 6.01. 6.01. This will cancel this. Therefore, our final velocity v will be let me simply let me point this with my calculator. 3 divided 6.01. Okay, so I have it to be 0 0.49, which is approximately if we are leaving it to one decimal place 0 0.5 meter per second all right this is one okay so this is basically how you can solve problem involving collision in physics we looked at perfectly elastic collision perfectly in elastic collision all right so this is easy guys um with this we are come the end of the class hope you learned something interesting if you are new to the channel, you hit subscribe to the channel and then by hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like, share, and comment on this video. Let me know if you got what I learned from this class. If you seem to have any 
specific questions are feel free to be a question in the comment section below now you should give me a response that is for this class thanks for watching